Welcome to day two of Robot in Three Days with NDSU Bison Robotics. Um, so far, we have worked on getting our um, extension for our gripper worked out, so Riley here is holding that in his hands. Um, and then we do also have a few rules to talk about with regards to our design. That is definitely something you can, should consider um, if you're doing some type of a design similar to ours. But Riley's here is going to discuss what we've got so far and where we're planning to go with it. Yeah, so we've completed our initial assembly and just our, our quick test of our extended arm. Um, so this long piece is what's actually going to be mounted uh, up to our pillar that's going to be driven for our main pivot up. And then we have an extension arm out that will mount our uh, grabber right on the front here. Um, so we'll be able to shoot this out to uh, reach our top rung uh, for the cones. Um, so this will either be full in or full out um, and will give us that extension. So we have two 775s with just two compliant wheels that are squishing this aluminum that uh, shoots that out. So this moves in and out very quickly. Um, if you're going with a design like this, be mindful of your speeds. Um, this will turn into a, uh, a very dangerous weapon very quickly. So um, be mindful of that. Um, we're gonna make some changes here. Um, so we have these 3D printed slides that hold the aluminum extrusion. Um, so we have two mounted up here. These are gonna be hard mounted to the the main arm here and then we're going to add one more out back that's going to be hard mounted to this one um, and slide with it so that'll act as a stop when it reaches here um, so that we don't shoot this out the other end and then our stop on our other side is going to be just our uh, gripper that gets mounted on the front so as calvin was saying um, there's some design considerations that we had to take into account so when we have this mounted up here um, there's a lot of weight dangling out front um, and holding that on a motor um, is kind of tricky from a controls point because it'll want to sag down um, and then you're going to constantly be trying to pitch back up to correct that. So to fix this we're going to mount a counterweight uh, behind the arm. Um, this will counteract the moment that's created out here. Um, what that weight's going to be we're not 100% sure yet. We're going to play with that when we get everything mounted and get our final weight. Um, but one rule that we've uh, realized and we're going to run into problems of is G109. So we're only allowed to extend in one direction outside of one side of our frame. So we have to be mindful that the back arm of this with the counterweights mounted off of doesn't swing outside of our frame when we move this up because we'll be extending out here. So we can't extend outside the back of our frame at the same time. So the G109 does also carry two exceptions to that rule. So the first exception, which is not really going to be applicable to us, is momentary and inconsequential, so that'll be zip ties, wires, tubing, anything like that, um, extending outside the frame, um, say in the motion of a match. Um, the one that we're going to be using is going to be um, extension in the loading zone and community. So once you're in the loading zone and community, so that's going to be where your grid is located and then your loading zone where your stubs, substations are, um, you can extend outside of your frame. You still have to stay inside the 48 inch per side perimeter. So you can extend four feet out on one side of your frame and four feet out on the other side of your frame at the same time. So that's the rule that we're gonna be using um, to allow us to possibly extend out using our counterweight. Um, more information and diagrams and stuff of that nature can be found on page 53 and 54 of the game manual um, if you're wanting to have a visual representation of that exception to the rule. Uh, in update number three, we showed you what the CAD design of this um, our grabber would look like. So it is designed so that, well, there's going to be a quarter inch piece of quarter inch thick by 10 inch long piece of aluminum here with little bearing holes with grippers on the end. So those will actually hold it, but this is kind of like the base design. So our two um, pistons are here. They'll be powered by pneumatics. They'll basically become one of the same uh, cylinders. So they'll be connected together. So it'll both, they'll both go out at the same time, both go in at the same time. So it will grab, it's designed to be big enough to grab this, like that. It's also designed to be small enough to grab this. So we can use the same actuator for both. So if we grab it at the base, obviously, we're going to have a longer one, so we'll go more around it, but it is sized to fit both things. And with this, it'll fit on our arm using this plate right here. We'll weld this to a one by one piece of aluminum so it can mount onto our arm. Other than that, I believe that is our update as of right now this morning. Um, we'll hopefully have another update for you later this afternoon. Um, if you have any questions, come check out our live stream. Um, you can actually see what we're working on right now.